It's so much easier to do a seasonal swap when you don't have that many clothes to begin with, but I'll mostly be plucking out a lot of the bulkier sweaters and um, pants that we don't need. To make the process go faster, you can comb through and find some of the items that you know you're not gonna be wearing in this upcoming season, but it's also a really good time to go through your items and see if you didn't wear it in the last season. So it can also be really good to take out entire groupings or stacks of clothes to see what you really need to keep. It can be challenging to rule certain sweaters or clothes out of the lineup uh, because we do live in Wisconsin and layers are key. So I just used this black sweater recently, so I'm gonna keep it. It's good to keep the clothes that you use most often right at eye level and within arm's reach. Otherwise, the seasonal items can go way up high in a protective box for you to grab uh, as it gets warmer. The process can seem overwhelming at times, so it's always good to have your emotional support dog on hand. Once you've sorted through the clothes to determine which ones will be relevant for this upcoming season, uh, then you can put the groups back in the closet in a way that um, reflects how often you're going to be using each item. I love using these shelf dividers that clip right onto most shelves because they keep the piles neat and tidy and prevent them from um, falling into each other. So where do my winter clothes go now? A couple places. One is in this drawer under our bed. I put my fleece pants in here where the shorts used to be. My turtlenecks and sweaters went up in these shirt bins up at the very top of the closet where my t-shirts used to be. For items that need to stay hanging, my husband and I share a covered garment rack in our basement. And they just sit in there, protected.